guys, what's up? Christian here back at you for a sneaker talk with a brand new review. Today we have a pair of Air Jordans. As you can tell by the title of this video, we have the Air Jordan 12 Wolves. These Jordans dropped a while back, I think a week or two weeks ago. They're still sitting on shelves for a lot of locations, so if you still want them, you can definitely go pick them up for retail uh, from many retailers like Full Locker. This is actually my friend Ian's pair, so I'll link his Instagram in the description down below if you want to check out his channel. He's going to be starting out YouTube real soon, so thank you Ian for allowing me to borrow this pair of Air Jordans here. These are in my size, so I will be doing an on feed for you guys to show you guys what they look like with a pair of joggers at the end of the video. But here we have it, Air Jordan 12 Retro Wool. The Air Jordan 12 has been making a huge comeback in this year. Uh, they've released so many colorways. I think the last review I've done for a sneaker was on the Air Jordan 12 Nylon. So. Here we are again with another Air Jordan 12, and this one is actually really dang nice. In theory, these should keep your feet very warm for the fall and winter months, and if you are gonna be wearing these in the fall, I think it's honestly a really good choice because these sneakers are really clean, they're gonna go with any outfit that you do have in mind, and I find Jordan 12s to just like, they age gracefully, they don't really show much wear after you wear them for months and months and months. Also to that sentiment, there are so many people that I've seen just wear Air Jordan 12s during the winter, and when I say winter, I mean like Canadian winter with like snow and slush and all that stuff, so I've seen people wear Jordan 12s in those conditions, so I'm sure if you have a warmer winter, maybe you're in like California or something like that, uh, these 12s will play very nicely as well. You're not gonna have to worry about getting like salt stains or anything like that. But that's one thing, that's one concern I have with this Air Jordan 12 is I wonder how it will do in the winter months. How will this wool do? Will it absorb all of the snow? Will it absorb all of the humidity and like moistness in the air? We won't know uh, until it actually comes. But in the fall and for the rest of the year, it looks like it's gonna be a really good sneaker. Coming up real close to the sneaker, as you can tell, this is the black leather here. It sort of has this like basketball texture, sort of like a rept reptilian or a snake-like texture. Going on to the upper here, we got the wool. It's just all wool. We have the like black uh, lace portions at the top here. You also have some white stitching going down the middle of the tongue area here. It says two. Uh, in actual letter characters and at the very bottom it says three with the number three and of course you got that famous Jumpman logo right on the tongue. Now this Air Jordan 12, previous models of the Air Jordan 12 like the nylon, the tongue had looked super duper cheap. It looked like it was a fake sneaker because it was so wrinkled but these Air Jordan 12s I see no issues no issues with like the quality of the tongue. I'm happy that they did a good job with that. Moving to the outsole, midsole of the sneaker, you have this sort of dark gray charcoal color here going on, and you have what looks like a carbon fiber uh, in between these ridges here. The very back of the sneaker features the 23, Jordan's famous number on the back. It also says Jordan, quality inspired by the greatest basketball player in this very tiny tiny font which is like embossed in this uh leather uh pull tab here and you have a black leather pull tab as i just said overall i'm a really big fan of this air jordan 12 retro i think they did a really great job with this one probably one of my favorite jordan 12s to release to date the one thing that i don't like about this jordan 12 is the retail price they actually bumped up the price on this release the retail price in Canada is $265 Canadian. How much is that after tax in my city? Oh, let's find out. We are looking at $299.45, so $300 for this Air Jordan 12. So it is very, very steep. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below and let me know what you think about this sneaker in the comments. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. And of course, enjoy the on feet and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.